If you have access to Argos Reports, you are automatically part of a group called Argos. Now in my gateway, I can actually go in and add that group to my Group Studio channel. And then I can monitor what's going on. If there's messages being sent out about Argos, that's where they will go. So what I have to do is I want to add my Argos group to my Group Studio activity channel. Now when you look at this channel, you'll see that it has more buttons right here than the rest of the channels. Now this one right here that looks like a little line is actually a little pencil and it's my edit button. So I'm going to click on my edit and it comes up and it says, well, what group do I want to add? So right here it says, these are the groups that I want to see. I'm going to click on Reporting Central, which is my Argos group. And then I can also select which things I want to see. Well, I'm going to keep them all there. So I want to save that. I click on Save. And then I need to click on Done. Now, in my Group Studio Activity channel, I will see that I am part of this group. Easily enough to see what's going on in that group, I just click on the group name. This box comes up, and when I expand it, I can see things about it. So here I can see there's announcements, here's some group news, here's some training dates, there's etc. There's other things that I can look at. There over here, I might have some files and there's no files in some of these but some of these I can see there's various things there's a PowerPoint etc there's links there's some email there's a message board that if somebody wanted to go in and ask did you know how to do this did you know how to do that there are all kinds of things now that I can do in my group to get out of my group all I have to do is click on this little exit right here I'm out of the group and I could see my group channel again. If somebody posts something, I'll see that, that certain applications that will come up and it will have a check mark right there. So if there was a new file added, I would show something right here saying a new file was added. So just at a glance, I can see if anything has been added to the group. So there you go. Another handy tip from Information Services.